Hi, this is Nigel of Weather Modification Watch New Zealand and 20th of November 2016, 2.15pm 2 and a bit of a uh, catch up here. I have, I made a video earlier today but it was a little bit off uh, in what I was saying and I had a hell of a job uh, trying to um, get the information on when the next uh, full moon perigee uh, was occurring. Perigee is when it's closer to the planet. Apogee is the name for when it's further away. So the next uh, perigee is, and I've got it here so I won't screw up again, is on the 13th of December at 12.28pm. Hold that date in mind hold that date keep it in mind and, and we're going to go over a couple other things okay so looking th this was yesterday you know I, we went over that in a video which i made at 1 35 a.m this morning hence <laughs> i um i have had a bit of sleep since then but i'm actually okay <laughs> so anyway there's a bit of emf here this is at 6 a.m um a lot of emf in that active in that area there I have a suspicion that the uh, warships in that area, uh, with all of their radio, uh, their radars and so forth, could be just having a, quite a bit of influence on uh, EMF activity in that area. Um, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, there's a lot there. Okay, okay. So aside from that, let's have a look. This is seven o'clock. Okay, and um, okay, the, uh, I'm recalling what I said in the last video. The, what I what I first noticed was darker area here, darker area around this area, um, <clears throat> and look at that dark spot there. Right now, okay, there might be just cloudless. Okay, so so these are areas that are getting hit real hard, and actually I think just right through this whole area there's very a lot of geometric lines here a lot okay we'll move on and all of this is going to become a little bit clearer as we go hopefully all right and there's the dog running past good <laughs> okay it's just a little bit of sound effects in the background there that's just it Add a little bit of excitement to this video. Okay, now nine o'clock, and I see this, and it looks to me like a huge beam coming right through here and heading from from somewhere way over, way over east. Uh, this would be kind of like a global type one, or it might just extend out a bit further and be at one large rectangle here. Not sure on that, but certainly there's some big hit that's happening on this uh, on the. This area, Cook Strait, and the whole of the uh, east coast of the North Island. There. Okay, so over the last few days, they have been hitting this whole area very hard. And I think that the Kaikoura uh, earthquake, well, I say Kaikoura because that was the one that was mostly affected. Um, <clears throat> I think that it was a little bit of a, a miss and, and it, it didn't work out. That earthquake was supposed to be a big one. Now they are trying very hard to set the fault off. Uh, can, but what's happened is the supermoon is there no more and the geoengineering works most effectively when there is uh, a moon, full moon, perigee which is closer to Earth. Uh, the supermoon was a great opportunity for geoengineering because the moon was not only in its perigee closest, but it was closest than it has been for an awful long time. Okay, so they are trying to hit at the moment the fault line, but there's no supermoon anymore. The uh, efforts might work in the next few days, uh, because the area is already weakened and so forth 
or it might not work. Um, and here comes in to play the next uh, that date that I was talking to you about. Let's just have a quick look over this before we leave it. Okay, and go down here, and we see um, yeah, this this all of that area there where it's all clear, very ge geometric lines. Look at that there, square kind of thing, and so forth. Okay, so so let's have a look at that date now. The next perigee is on the 13th of December at 12.28pm. Uh, and my estimations, you can call it estimations, predictions, uh, uh, calculated guess, uh, hey, call it what you like. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing out to that date that that is the next perigee, which means the next time the moon is closer. Uh, now, I did find a great reference this morning, um, which I did post on uh, the Weather Modification Watch page. I think I'm going to have to close this. Oh, it matter. Okay, so uh, regarding the moon's effect on tides, and uh, I can find, well, you can find that link anywhere you can. but. It's a very well-known fact that the moon influences the world tides of the oceans. So the moon does have a great gravitational effect on the Earth, uh, and particularly when it is closer. Okay, so the next one being 13th of December, I believe that they will use that date, if they fail to do it before then, this will be the next date to look out for. A, a few days either side of that 13th of December perigee. Uh, those will be the next key dates to look out for. So um, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. There was another interesting video that uh, one of my contacts, one of my one of the Weather Modification Watch members posted from Christchurch this morning. I'm not mentioning names here, I don't want to violate any copyrights uh, or anything like that, but um, she posted a video flying into Christchurch uh, this morning and all of the clouds it followed the coastline exactly and none extended out past the coastline. And I think that was a pretty good evidence of uh, the fact that that coastline is being hit with geoengineering right now, uh, the clouds j are just not penetrating that EMF in the area. Okay, I think I've said enough. Um, let's have a look here. Have I said enough? <laughs> okay, well, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, yeah, I just I'll keep you posted with anything else that comes up. This is Nigel at Weather Modification Watch New Zealand. Check me out.